hello my good friend you are welcome to obloni electrical okay so this time we are going to learn how to wire a three-phase automatic change over switch from the very beginning to the end at this channel we share valuable electrical knowledge and valuable electrical tips that go a long way to help you enhance your electrical wiring and get new knowledge about electrical wiring if this is your first time joining us i will encourage you to subscribe so that you become part of this learning family and for those who are already subscribers on this channel i thank you so much i sincerely appreciate you and please anytime you find any of the videos useful and very important to you please do well to share with others so that they can also benefit from it this is what makes this series so interesting I'm going to explain every part of the wiring. I'm going to take it step by step from wiring the power circuit to wiring the control circuit for the main supply. Then we go on to wire the control circuit for the generator. Every component in the wiring is going to be explained. And then I will tell you why they are there and what they are doing in the wiring. Now, we are going to learn how the contactors work. We are going to learn how to include selector switches that will help you to select whether the system should work automatically or manually. We are going to use switches to do the switching of the generator and then the main supply in manual mode. I will also explain how you can wire push buttons to do the manual start for the generator and then for the main supply. In fact, this series is packed and so we are going to learn in sections step by step so every series will come with something wonderful and important to learn so let's have a brief overview of how the whole system works so this is fully automatic when we turn this switch here it will set the whole system in auto when it comes here it is neutral and then when it comes here, it sets the system to manual. You would have to use this switch. When it turns left, it activates the main contactor. That is the contactor that connects the main supply to the load. And then when it gets, when it comes to the middle, it's neutral. And then when it goes to the left, it manually activates the contactor that connects the generator supply to the load. All right, so now this is going to help us to start the generator manually. So after setting it to manual mode, example, if you want to switch on the generator, you turn this switch to manual, you start your generator manually, and then you come to the ATS. There should be indications to show that this is a switch button for the generator supply to the load. And then this is the switch button for the main supply to the load. Okay, but here we already know that this is controlling the generator supply to the load. So once supply from the generator to power the load, and we have set this to manual, you just press this. And then as you can see, green shows that the generator contactor is supplying power to the load. Okay, and so... The system has been interlocked in such a way that if this one is working, even if you press this one, it will not work. And that is how it should be. So if generator is working, there is no way the main contactor should work. Okay? The only way it will work is when we send this to auto and then supply is available here. Otherwise, in case we are using this, and then the main supply comes because it's in manual we would have to switch the generator off before we can manually activate the contactor for the main supply the generator is off so now we can manually switch on the contactor for the main supply to supply power to the load okay so now main supply is on as you can see the red light is on and then this one is in manual. So here we go. And then the main contactor is now giving supply output to the load as the green light confirms here. 